Hello students. Today we are going to learn third chapter of math second that is circle. First we see basic concepts of circles. First circle this is circle. A set of points. It's set of points which are equidistant from a fixed point is called a circle. A set of points which are equidistant from a fixed point. This fixed point, that is, this is a fixed point, set of points equidistant from the, this fixed point, it is called a circle. This fixed point is called center of circle. Center of circle. This fixed point is called center of circle. Suppose this is O. Next concept is chord of circle. A segment joining this is chord. A segment joining any two points any two points of a circle suppose this point P and Q that is segment PQ is the chord diameter of circle if chord of a circle passing through its center this is called diameter of circle diameter of circle if Chord is passing through a center. If chord is passing through a center, it is called diameter of circle. Next, radius of circle. Radius of circle. This is a segment joining center of circle and any point on the circle. A segment joining center of circle and any point of the circle this is radius center of circle and any point of the circle congruent circle congruent circles these two circles suppose Radius of these two circles, radius of this circle is 2, this is also 2. If radius of circles are same, 
If radii of circles are same, that circles are called congruent circles. Concentric circles. These two are concentric circles. If circles having common center, common center, these two circles having common center, this this is called concentric circles. Intersecting circles. Suppose P Q circles having two points common. Circles having two points common, it is called intersecting circles, and these common points are called point of contact. And common points are called point of contact. Now next properties of chords. Suppose this is a chord. Center of circle is O. Perpendicular. Drawn from center to the chord, bisect chord. That is perpendicular. Drawn from center of the circle. To the chord bisects chord. This is first property. Now second property is if two chords are equidistant from the center, then they are of equal length if this is center this distance are equal a b c d chords which are equidistant from the center these two are equidistant from the center are of equal length these two are equidistant from the center therefore these two are of equal length that is chord AB congruent to chord C. Now next circles passing through one, two or three points. Circles passing through one, two or three points. Suppose this is one point suppose this point is P That is, infinite circles can draw through one point. We can draw infinite circles through one point. If two points are given, if 
A and B are two points. Suppose this is first circle, second circle, third circle, fourth circle. That is infinite circles. Infinite circles can draw. through two distinct points two distinct points now three if we have given three points if these three points a b and c if they are not non collinear this point three points a b and c are non collinear therefore only one circle can be draw through three non collinear points that is a unique circle can draw through a non collinear three non collinear points if these three points are collinear suppose this point is a b and c no circle can be drawn through no circle can be drawn through three collinear points three collinear points next point is second and tangent now in first figure a circle with center a and l is the line this line l is not intersecting lines in second circle in second figure suppose line m this is line m p point is common circle and a line having only one point common that is p point is common this is called tangent and if two points are common this is n p q if two points are common this is called second this one point it is called tangent at point p this is second intersecting at points p and q this is called tangent this is second if circle and a line having one point common it is called tangent this common point is called this tangent is this segment or this uh, one point is common at common at point p if suppose uh, C is the center of circle and N is the line. Here are two points are common P and Q. Therefore, this is called second. Now next, tangent theorem. Tangent theorem. 
a tangent at any point suppose this is a tangent a tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius this is o this is tangent line l tangent at point p this is always perpendicular a tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact its converse if that is we can write the same we can draw same figure a line is perpendicular to radius if this line line m is perpendicular to the radius then this line is called a tangent line tangent to the circle now we will see theorems now first theorem tangent segment theorem now here statement tangent segment tangent segment drawn from an external point to a circle are congruent here tangent segments drawn from an external point that is point, from point d to a circle are of are congruent we have to show these are congruent now first we see from figure how we can prove this first given given o is the center of circle line pd and qd are tangent to the circle at points p and q respectively this is given to prove we have to prove segment pd congruent to segment qd that is these two segment are congruent construction now here draw segment op segment oq and segment od now here and proof now in proof in triangle opd and triangle oqd these two angles are congruent because tangent theorem these two segments are congruent radius of same circle this is common therefore by hypotenuse side test these two triangles are congruent and corresponding sides of congruent triangles are congruent therefore segment pd congruent to segment qd this is the proof now we can write here given given o is the center of circle line pd and qd are tangents to the circle at points at points p and q respectively this is given now to prove now we have to prove segment pd segment pd congruent to segment qd this is to prove construction construction <coughs> draw segment draw segment op segment oq and segment od
Круг. Круг. Now, from figure in triangle OPD and triangle OQD. In triangle OPD and triangle OQD. Angle OPD congruent to angle OQD. Angle OPD congruent to angle OQD. Write down in bracket tangent theorem. Tangent theorem. Now segment OP congruent to segment. OQ per second. Segment OP congruent to segment OQ. Write down in bracket. Segment OP congruent to segment OP OQ. Radius of same circle. Radius of same circle. And hypotenuse OD. This is right angle. Its opposite side that is hypotenuse. Hypotenuse OD. That is first third congruent to hypotenuse OD. That is common side. Common side. For this true triangle, this is common side. Therefore, by hypotenuse side test, hypotenuse side test, these two triangles are congruent. Triangle, this OPD. Congruent to triangle OQD. Now we know that corresponding sides of congruent triangles are congruent. Therefore, its corresponding sides PD. Therefore, segment PD congruent to segment QD. This is the proof. Thank you.